The race for Burlington mayor is expected to make history and it's getting the attention of experts on women in politics. The major party candidates are both women, Democrat Joan Shannon, a city councillor, and progressive Emma Mulvaney Stanek, a state representative. Burlington has never had a female mayor before, so the Barbara Lee Family Foundation is really paying attention to this race. The foundation studies women running for office to better understand barriers they face, including gender bias. Its executive director says female candidates can feel pressure to remain laser focused on issues, especially in races when they're up against another woman, since research shows voters of all genders can judge women in politics more harshly than men for things like appearance and tone of voice, and they can question those candidates' accomplishments more or label them as being unlikable based on the way they contrast themselves with their opponents. The bottom line is, any woman or person of color seeking office, anyone that doesn't look like all of the people who have come before them, face additional barriers with voters. And that's just a fact. And so it's important for all of us to be aware of the biases that are out there as well as our own biases so that when we are talking to family and friends or we're making our own voting decisions that we can be aware of what we're kind of bringing into our thought process and making sure that we're being fair when we're evaluating candidates. And she pointed to research from the Center for American Women and Politics at Rutgers University's Eagleton Institute of Politics. It shows just over a quarter of U.S. cities with populations over 30,000 have women as mayors. The Barbara Lee Family Foundation says that shows there's still a lot of room for improvement when it comes to women's representation at the mayoral level. And it's important to note two men are also on the ballot in Burlington, hoping to be the city's next mayor. They are Will Emmons, a longtime leader of the local postal union, and Chris Hasley, a member of the Church Street Marketplace Commission. Both are running as independents. NBC5 News has extended invitations to both of those candidates to appear on a future episode of NBC5 In-Depth.